this video is just to give you a rundown on the uh, reflux steel that I've built to make uh, biofuels or moonshine and such. Uh, I've just used a 50 litre keg boiler and TIG welded a 6 inch tri-clamp uh, with a sight glass on the top and the fittings down below for your temperature probe and uh, your heating element, electric heating element. And then underneath I've got a, a gas burner which sits underneath the keg and that's to help it get up to temperature and once it's up to the desired temperature I'll shut that off and just use the electric element to take over. This is the reflux column. It's a Booker style reflux column. So it's got a series of plates, or a set of plates I should say, on the side which are welded on the angle as you can see. The top one here is for a temperature probe which I'm currently not using because I've just got a temperature gun that I'm using instead. And then the outlet on this side is controlled by a, a needle valve and that'll control the flow coming out. The remainder of the gas will travel up the column around and up to the condensing coil which I've got uh, icy water running through that. This is a couple other condensing coils that I've got to give you an idea of what's inside. This is a uh, six mil copper tube. The pump's inside this freezer. Circulating cool water. So I'll fill that up about a third of the way, maybe five days before I'm ready to run the still, and I'll freeze that solid, and then add water and additional ice to the top. This is the first measurement, so that came off at 98%. So I'm pretty happy with that. The lower section of the column has been filled with ceramic baking beads which you can purchase from most grocery stores. I've just bought enough bags to fill it right up to the outlet and that uh, creates a, like a rainforest effect in the lower section of the column, uh, refluxing your moonshine and raising its proof. So that's how I'm able to achieve 98%. And right at the bottom just use a stainless steel pot scrubber inside the column and that'll stop the beads from falling down into the boiler. The way that the plates are designed, so this top plate here will catch the vapour as it comes up and the temperature probe will read the vapour temperature. The bottom plate is designed like a dam so that level there will fill with liquid from the condensing coil and that'll prevent vapour from coming out of the outlet tube. And this lower plate, you cut a V into the centre, similar to this plate here. And that'll allow the liquid to drip down the centre of the column all the way back to the boiler without touching the sides. Coming towards the end of the run, I should achieve about 4.3 litres at 98% which should water down to roughly 10 litres at 40%. So that's not a, not a bad effort. Thanks for watching.